Hi and welcome at the Computing Conference 2018 in London. I am joined by Agatha Manolova. Hi, you're from Bulgaria. Exactly. And you're connected to the Technical University of Sofia. That's the main the capital, right? Yes, in the capital, the biggest technical university in Bulgaria. And you've been in the USA as well for quite some time. Uh, for five months, I was a Fulbright Scholar there. Uh, for between 2013 and 2014, I did a um, visiting scholar uh, session in the University of Arkansas uh, at the Department of Computer Science. So that's quite an achievement to actually get that scholarship. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it was a big surprise for me at least. I didn't expect that because I was at the beginning of my career, I'm going to call it. I was just had two years before defended in France, my mm. PhD. And then I decided let's try an English version scholarship. Yes. Yeah, and I did apply and I got the scholarship from the first time. So it worked out? It worked out pretty, pretty well. <laughs> and what was the research on exactly? Uh, so uh, the research in the US was in the area of uh, virtual reality, mm -hmm. including um, emotion recognition. Right. So, yes. So I visited uh, the laboratory. They have a very big laboratory in virtual reality. Yeah. So I did start my first steps on this area, in this area. But uh, we did a lot of research in the area of emotion recognition from facial data. Right. Yeah. And what were the main results? So the main results were actually pretty good because from 2014 till now, uh, me and my colleagues, we did uh, a lot of research in the area of emotion recognition, mm -hmm. expression recognition. Uh, we did get to publish our results in very nice conferences. And also we got free projects, scientific projects financed first by the European uh, Union. We oh, were yeah. uh, partners on a seven framework project. It finished on 2016 mm -hmm. December. And our work was exactly to uh, do the facial characteristics. We did um, very nice work there. Uh, the project finished with um, great very well. So for us, it was quite an achievement. Excellent, yes. Yes, and then we've got three or four more projects uh, from the Bulgarian Fund Research Ministry. So we continue really our work. Had a spin -off. Yeah. Exactly. We continue our work. Now we are working on the area of um, action recognition, behavior recognition. So it's connected. A and how is it applied? Because of course it's research. Yes. But where can we find that maybe in our daily lives? Yes. So currently, and the application that we have is in ambient system living systems. So mm -hmm. uh, the project that was for the European uh, Commission was a project uh, for elderly, for the mm -hmm. elderly. It was a smart home application wow. where we followed the emotion, the mood of the elderly in terms of uh, detecting depression, you know, negative emotions for the system to be able to give some positive reinforcement or, or to contact the caregiver. Mm. Uh, if anything, you know, it's detected. It changes, yes, it yeah. changes exactly. So it's it's that sen sensitive, and they can actually see what what's going yeah. on yeah. in silence. Yeah, yeah. The, the mood is actually expressed, but there are some currently, you know, different studies because the mood is not only from facial. It can usually it's multimodal things. So mm -hmm. You use the voice, you use the expression of the body, but there are also some research that say that it's not only that, mm -hmm. but. For us, in the engineering As side, yeah. yeah, we need something visual to be able to track it down. Uh, also, skin conductivity, electromyographic signals, um, ECG, etc., etc. So, plenty of um, elements to study. <laughs> and how exactly did you make it happen? Because it, mm -hmm. it recognizes emotions. Yeah. So we actually follow the movement of the muscle of the face mm -hmm. because uh, the face is, yeah, it's the eyes, it's the mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, so all this moves all the time. So you can follow certain key points on the face. And obviously after that, there are a lot of algorithms because mm -hmm. your head also moves all the time. So we need to follow in real right. time the head movement. We are movement. at the computing conference exactly. somewhere in there. Yeah. Again, gaze tracking for yeah. attention or amusement uh, detection, mm -hmm. also that. And obviously, depending on either it's a certain expression, an expression mm -hmm. recognition, this means that now I'm smiling right. okay yeah. or it's mood mood is something that you take over a certain time right so it's not an immediate thing it's, it's a combination yes. of so usually for the mood you take an average for example mm. what uh, elements are you so you have how many times have you smiled mm -hmm. or how many times were you sad so it's an average thing and then it gives an advice or maybe some 
Yeah, it will give you, for example, the system that we've created. At the end, you have a daily report. Mm -hmm. So it could give you once a day a daily report. Okay, you were happy today <laughs> or you were sad today or something like that. It seems funny that you yes. can actually see a report for yeah, how you're feeling. Or yeah. a weekly report, you yeah. know, to see the full week. Uh, and it depends on the side of the medical personnel, mm -hmm. what they want to see. Uh, because obviously a psychiatrist or other medical specialists want to see a certain information. Right. But we currently also uh, work with the University of Aarhus in Denmark. Mm -hmm. So they also wanted um, facial uh, expression recognition for business model innovation. Okay. Yeah, that's they, a completely different yes, field. Yes, this is a completely different field. So they wanted also, we started uh, uh, and we wrote a project together to be able to find, because they're doing business modeling in a certain mm. closed environment, they wanted to see who is the leader of ah, the group. Ah, interesting. You know, how the interaction and between, the dynamic. yes, yeah. the interaction between the participants is, uh, are happening. So this was also another application that we are currently developing with So them. they're using your model? Yes. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So you're expanding? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and where do you, you want to go? Okay, so we have a lot of ideas. Hmm. Uh, I'm currently uh, head of the laboratory of um, electronic system for visual information uh, at my faculty, mm -hmm. but also we have a laboratory for teleinfrastructure. So we okay. are combining both. I have half of my colleagues working in really the telecommunication part mm -hmm. and the other half of computer vision and machine learning. So our next goal is the action recognition ah. and the behavior recognition. So we want to really focus on that. So combine the facial character Characteristics, head movement with the body. So to be able to have a lot of application, and one of the applications that we are, we'll, we'll call it the end game, but mm. it's not going to be <laughs> the end game, probably we'll continue. It's um, to be able to create um, a holoportation system to transmit, uh, you know, the full body movement, wow. data and face somewhere else. You know, and to work in this environment, you know, partially virtual, you know. And then you can be at two locations at the same time. Couple locations. Well, at the same that's time. And communicate. Like yeah, communicate. Yeah. yeah, hopefully <laughs> it will become we reality sometimes. So yeah. just a full image of yourself yes. in another yes. location. In another well, location. That, that's yeah. a nice view to, yeah. to, to ponder yeah. a little more about. Yeah, so we're thinking about it. We started a little bit. Currently, we're developing this closed environment with all the cameras. But uh, we're beginners in this area, so we'll see. How It'll we take some time. Oh, it will take well, some time. But we have a luck. big yeah. field of research. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> we'll cover. surely follow you in all your okay. publications. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being here. So see you next year. <laughs> yeah, my, my <laughs> if you want to watch some more videos about different subjects, feel free and click on them. And I hope to see you later. Bye bye.